and lovely oh. viewers. Hello. Hello. Greetings, salutations. I am Lies. And I'm Scandal. And actually, today is kind of a somewhat semi-odd, unusual video, at least for me, um, and because Lies wants to do something, and I'm going to participate, it seems. So why don't you take it away, Lies? This is mostly about you today. <laughs> okay, so I, I tend to strategize with games that I do, and... Um, I, I tend to like to burn through them as fast as possible. And so, anyway. It's we a have, skill thing. It's, it's, a, I it's want a to skill prove thing. I can do it. Yep. it. It's also a skill thing in reference to, you know, currency or premium currency, depending on how your game works. So, um, in reference to Everrun, the last time we were here, we had just started the game. We did one grind and cast where we just talked. We've bought some more horses since then. Um, but I want to do two things in this video. I want to buy the remaining horses because we have a good amount of embers right now so we're just going to buy everybody out and then we are also i'm going to show you my money making tactic and if you have you know all the variables available you can get a lot of money really fast too okay so yeah. first we're going to buy crimson yay Hello, crimson. crimson would you like to yep so she's going to be burning things to ash she looks also again like uh Venus from Sailor Moon. She she does. She looks look like a sailor a essentially. Like, like Venus from Sailor yep. Moon. So yeah, so here here we go. Here is Crimson. She is she's got kind of braids. Fun. She's got her little crown braid, which is sort of wild. Weird, yeah. It, it has a hard time sort of floating softly above her head. But but they had a neat idea with the whole princess hat thing, okay? Yep. And this is the whole mask. She really is though. I think she's supposed to be a sailor like Senshi or something like that. Yeah. All right. Would be my guess. So, so that's Crimson. Yeah. Um, hooray, Crimson! Hooray, Welcome Crimson. to the ridiculous party. Right. So now, now we're gonna. Oh wait, I've already. We've got already bought Maple. Maple. I've already bought Maple. Sorry, my bad. All right. Well, Maple's all apparently a mess. I'm gonna brush Maple really quick because we forgot about her, and apparently she didn't get brushed after her last uh, run. There we go. Okay, now we're out. All right, mm, all the right. trail for Maple. The trail. The for orange Maple. trail for Maple. <laughs> right, it matches her. It's very fitting. Okay, so there's Mabel. I somehow oh, we oh got cycled back to the beginning. Yeah, once we you didn't them. notice. Yeah. I didn't notice. Okay, so here's well, because the thing is, is it gets reset. So yeah. right, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Oh, so that yes. Oh. Didn't we just destroy anything in our path? I think Crimson yes. and Thorn have something in common. So we're gonna buy Thorn. Ash. She does turns everything to ash. He destroys things with a giant shield. All right, all right. So there we go. All right. What, let's, what let's, was with that gesture? That what was is even fantastic. with that? So gesture. I called this guy Reverse Panda when I first saw him because the eye things. Yeah, he. Is I a don't rubber. know why he has like what? teal hooves though. Look at the little fluffy feathers. It is. Page. He had He's a little cute little feathering. feathering. So if nobody knows anything, you're like, oh my gosh, you're watching a horse video. But if nobody knows, the little Basically, bits of hair that grow off down around a horse's hooves are called feathers or feathering. So yeah, he is—he has totally got little feathers down there. It's Additionally, very cute. he's got like, um, uh, you know, uh, parade. Uh, uh, parade hairstyle. Hairdo. Yeah, so he's got his hair. Tied You're up. going to actually no, have to I'm play not with... Run with him. No, stop that. No, you cannot exit ah. out of it. You have to die. Dang it! Okay, so we're gonna actually run with him and break all of his legs, which is disappointing to me. Well, we're just going to leave it. So you're just going to let him run up. So just get him in the trees then if you're just going to kill him. I will. I will. I will get him in the trees before I even can hear his story. All right, voice over person. I'm sorry. We're not even going to listen to you. We're just going to kill our horse. Woo! Ooh, I mean, goodbye. humanely put them down. Oh, oh, sorry. Not to kill them. Humanely put them down. But yeah, the whole braiding on his tail and the, you know, the um, little um, ponytail sort of things that he has up on his mane, those are actually loops that are, you know, traditional parade regalia. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. So now we've got He's that He's a fancy. I couldn't get out of the food. And so it's I couldn't turn him around me. anymore. You I wanted have to, to go out of the around. food. I couldn't get out of the food. I wondered what you were doing. <laughs> Trying to leave the food badly. Okay. All right, so this time we have to go the other way? Uh, probably faster to go there. Let's see. All right, so now we need to buy... Rose! Rose. This is the flying one. Is Rose the mo... Oh, she's just the flying no. one. Oh, there we are. There she is. So she's she -Ra. Okay, now I couldn't hear it. No, just start over again. I okay, couldn't hear it. Like, one more time. Sorry, sorry. You, so, so say sorry. your thing before you get there. She, she's She Ra? She looks like She Ra. I could totally see that. With the wings and everything on her, uh -huh. she looks, looks like, like She Ra. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So she's a lesbian? She's flamboyant. She's very obviously whatever she is. But I mean, she does. She looks very much like your She-Ra. Valkyrie, she- you know, like She-Ra, like, you know, a, a feminine Thor, if you will. Sort yes. of. I, I, I mean, she's right really in weird. there. In, look at how much hair she has. This how does she girl survive? Is made of hair. It's also made of hair clipping, unfortunately. The hair is And just also the fact that she right has to constantly her. keep boggling her hair around like she can't see anything. I does mean, she have she on her tail? What's up with her? Can't. The top of it's shaved. She's got an undercut. She's got an undercut on her tail, basically, which that makes is... it an overcut. That's a little wild. So that she is... has a mohawk? No, sort of? I mean, she's still, it'd, just be, it'd just be the undercut if you know you're All right, the yeah, tail. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. All right, so here she is. She also has blue hooves. So that's and it has a lot of makeup. So that's exciting. Yeah, I don't know why she has a beauty makeup, mark too. And that's I don't know the sashaying, wiggling back and forth is kind of distracting. She's definitely like to throw my hair around yes. all the time. I whip I my can't. hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair. So Rose is your whip your hair back and forth horse. Yeah, and so we will go and buy our last horse. Who is? It's Star. The David Bowie horse. Sorry, I mean. David Bowie. <gasps> Summon powerful shooting stars with star flower. The most mysterious of the Guardians. The most mysterious, because, because they're he's... an alien rocker. Okay, so that picture was a little bit horrifying, but it was great. I, no, that never happens. You have a lot of tail going on, dude. Like, let's I mean, see. he really is the David Bowie They don't horse. really gender this horse, do they? They're they just do. They're the most I... mysterious of all the Guardians. They didn't say he or she, did they? I mean... They just said the, the, the most mysterious. They did say that, but I'm I, at least in the way they describe him on the website, he is labeled with he pronouns. But that doesn't mean I follow things, obviously, because, I mean, I'm a big fan of Oach not, not being a guy, so... Right. Okay, so that's all of our horses. We've bought out yeah. absolutely everybody. Woo! And, uh, yeah, so that that's that. We also still have currency left over, so we'll probably buy some decorations or stuff later. But the thing is, is, so there is one horse that's really, really good at currency. And it's literally... Now, all the horses can have currency multiplying armor yep. um, or or dress up clothes however you want to call it but this particular setup that we've got her in is is for what's her name again? money wait what's her money what's her name oh no so anyway so these ones actually multiply um your what do they do uh, it's power your, your power your power ups last longer so when you get your power ups they last longer and then these and this ones is give health. more health. So, so more HP get, points, more you hits. You get up to six hits with these. And then these ones make petals be worth more. So if you're really just grinding for petals, this is a really good way to go about it. But these ones, when we're equipped with, they double the value of embers. So each one of them on its own doubles the value. Now they don't multiply with each other, but instead of, you know, one ember, you get four embers for each one, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Which is really nice. All right, so we also gonna, need to brush her and. I just say, and her special ability is super nice because when she gets a power up, what happens is she makes more embers on the screen, which is super cool. So, right, so you said you ended it green because well, so, so another thing we're trying no, to do. No, I had started with green, so I'm start. up to red now. The last one. So I'm also trying to use all the brushes. There's achievements in this game for doing um, speed bursts with brushes. And I've bought all the brushes, but somehow I missed doing speed bursts with some of them. And so we're trying to get through that as well and figure out which ones we didn't speed burst with. Ah. Uh-huh. 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 All right. So the thing is, is getting to the endless run piece of the game. We're going to start running while I talk. Um, actually seems to drop the ember count that appears because mm-hmm. we've gotten Lily to the endless run part, and uh, there she's the not... first horse you get. Just she's yeah, she's reference. your very first basic horse. In case you're not in the ever run fandom, because um, uh-huh. we're totally in the fandom. We're totally in the fandom. Anyway, so we're about to, we're going to start with a power up. This is great. So her power up actually makes more embers appear, and then we are multiplying those embers. So we're already at sixty eight embers glitched before out we tree. left the first environment. So that's one of the neat things about this particular horse. So in this run, we are not going to be getting pedals because we're not going to be trying to complete the run. We're not trying to level her up at all. We're trying to keep her in the regular levels so we can grind embers more easily. Now, if you've already leveled up this horse all the way, this option isn't available to you, but it's still a good option because she makes more embers on her own for just getting embers. But if you haven't bought this horse yet, getting to her right away and then buying her armor that multiplies the embers is super worth it. You get 
so many more embers so much faster mm -hmm. that you can buy out everything else. So I've done a couple of 3 and 4k runs with her without beating the level. So, so which is just embers itself, not distance, not anything about petals themselves, obviously, because otherwise the, the levels would be then unavailable, but it's just all about the embers. Right, and so I've replayed this level several times, not actually leveling her up, not actually opening more for flowers on the tree, just getting her um, to give me currency so I can buy decorations, so I can buy the armor and clothing for and other, buy horses, the other horses, so I can buy the other horses. And so this is my method for just getting a lot of embers quickly. You don't try to finish the levels. You just and, take and the horse reason also and we say to do it this with this horse is she's literally the only horse who has this power up. Right, and the other ones they all can have the multiplier armor, but they don't have a power up that just gives you embers. Yep, she is the only one. So if you're using her skill, her particular power up, that gives you more embers. So every time. basically, my recommendation then, based off of that, is really to play with Lily, or learn as much as you can, and then basically buy this horse as soon as you possibly can. So and then go is, and focus on her armor. This is Rose, right? Uh, no, this is no. not Rose. Is the sashayn long-haired oh, one? So which one is this? I don't remember. So I'm like, what is her name? Dang again? it! Go She's look mom. Up her name. This Hang is the on. mom horse. Mom to all McHorse horses. Right, mommy McHorse, you're on unicorners. Okay. Right. right. Unicorn McMommy horse. Which it implies in her story arc, as you buy things, that she's actually pregnant right now while she's running. Right, while we're breaking her legs extensively. Yeah, like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We'll just break the mummy's legs. Yes. Not really what we want to do, but there it goes. All right. I'm also, trying to find in it. the endless run mode, they do not give you more hearts. And so you can't actually necessarily play as long, depending on your skill level. So, even what if you can't get this particular horse, buying a ho you know the horse's armor that multiplies your embers and then running four embers before you finish their levels will give you a lot more currency quickly to buy things with because that multiplier makes a huge difference. And when you're still in levels, you can still get hearts back, unlike with Endless Run, which is just as long as you can go with no support. Right. Yep. All right, so that was... Pretty bad run, but we're going to watch an ad. Hang on, I'll be right back. Orchid. All right, and we're back. This orchid. is Orchid. Oh my we're gosh. back, we're back. And orchid. it's Orchid, yay. yay. So we that went and so looked lame. up her name. <laughs> I knew it was a flower of some kind, and don't tell me they're all flowers, because all those names are not flowers. No, they're because not. Because maple is not a flower. That's bull. Neither I was then. still irritated about that. And yeah. neither is an oat, oat tart. An oak. Oak nut heart. <laughs> you cannot remember their name. I can't. Oat, oat nut it's is oak the only. Heart. I know it's oak heart, it's but oak I just heart. want oat nut. Oat nut. Oat nut is 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 um, Sca uh, Scandal's favorite fictional horse. Favorite. My most Completely favorite. Completely fictional. It's the, the head can in a horse. I believe Completely. this horse would exist if they had just known how great it would be. Pretty much. I don't. Un oh, oh, ouch. I don't understand how much leg. No. Nope. Ah. Nope, I'm just going around. You, you're, you weren't going around. I'm now going around. The sun just went out. Okay, the sun just went out in I the sky. I love the stuff in this that game. That was amazing. Stuff, the background is so wild in this game. If you're ever just running and you haven't been watching this game, there is a lot that goes on in the periphery of things just spawning in and fading out and various changes. And suns that go on. basically exploding through the sky and going down so fast you could swear that they were on something. <laughs> yeah, and then moons, you know, the moon just rises. Catapults, and sets. rockets. It sort of rockets through the sky <laughs> amazingly fast. It just zips up there. It's, it's like, hello! And you're like, I'm not running that fast, am I? All right, here's the moon, and the moon will be gone. Oh my god. Flatten out, see it's gone. Ah, uh, the moon existed for a whole while. Wow, a couple seconds. of seconds, yep, there we go. I almost ran into nothing, so that was awesome. Because it's important Woo! to run into nothing occasionally, you know? Oh, Just they have no armor. Just your horizons. Oh, one of them's naked. Oh, oh because, because we, we bought, bought him. him. Ah, now he looks like that. Okay, so when these horses come and run along with you, they have previously been dressed up in whatever when we didn't have them. But now that we have him, since he's naked, he stays naked. Woo! I'm like, oh. All right, naked horse boy, good job. All right. I mean, the thing is, is all horses are naked. 
They really are. Most, I mean, but like the thing is, is naked is also naked, though so. a social idea as well, which I think is super interesting. Naked doesn't really exist; it's just a social construct, which most of our reality doesn't exist unless we say it does. Right. We only define exactly what that means and what that's about. And we've actually had questions in our previous runs with this game of going, "How do they make the clothes Clothing. in Isn't way? that weird? They don't, because I was going off about how they don't have opposable thumbs, no, 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 let no. alone like fingers. Right. And you go, okay, if they don't have fingers we're, and we're gonna thumb, die. we're already dead. We were just running dead. I... We're still running dead. We are what dead are we and running. This is the most fun glitch. Well, I'm glad you I joined us. Welcome to the fun glitch. All right. So we're going to do one more run, and I'm going to do a lot better because that was definitely a warm-up run. But oh if you noticed... Gosh. How this is what happens when I leave you alone. You just can't do it. Right? The embers were a lot faster than, you know, if otherwise we had been running without the armor or if we'd been using a horse that didn't have an ember power-up. However, again, I did run with Lily initially for my currency, and she did a really good job once she had her, um, multi you know, her armor uh, that armor multiplied, that multiplied it, yeah. embers. So there is that. I do also like that generally they are generous with embers so that you know you get them back as long as the you're not doing the like endless that. run which seems to be really weird when i watched you do the endless run with lily it was there very were disorienting hardly any embers it was amazing like they have the challenge for doing the endless run to um you know get ten thousand ten thousand petals but it doesn't was cover... it petals or was it meters it's petals it's collect 10,000 petals oh, and wow. beat the Budge High School. Oh, which probably means you have to get the multiplier for, for the, the petals. petals. Yeah. Or that you need to live a really long time. And so you can decide sort of on your skill based on whether, you know, getting different armor or different clothes, it would help you more to either have a multiplier on petals so you can get them faster or to be able to live longer. I totally jumped. That jump I wasn't sure if that happen. was a jump or just a smack. Right? I tried jumping and and uh, Orchid said no. Orchid went goodbye. I wish to break my leg I, today. I just, I can't run on four legs anymore. I need to run on three, you know? So yeah, the idea here is basically if you've been struggling through this game or slowly buying things or, you know, going, it seems like it'll take forever to buy all <clears> the horses or any of those experiences that you can have basically a more positive and supportive experience by getting with getting embers by buying the ember armor and specifically by running with orchid who really helps you out and not then going through her level so avoiding picking up petals right and so if you start getting close to petals just go break all of your legs immediately and just do know, not pass go to not and restart the level so yep. i have deliberately killed her off several times when they funnel me into petals like this when you can't avoid them and you're very close and then you just run yourself into the obstacles and then you will end your level and you can start over and get more embers faster again. the other thing that also helps too is obviously i don't know if anybody's noticed it's quite possible that you have i mean honestly um every once in a while lies is actually also jumping when there's no other choice to avoid some of the pedals to give myself longer to run while just earning embers because if i don't want to beat the levels i have to watch my pedal meter up in the right mm -hmm. to make sure i don't get to the max the reason she's on level three right now is because a couple of times i got to the max when the max was lower because i stopped paying attention but i have now used this girl to buy out Every, you know, just about everything. And it is going to be her who actually buys everyone their armor and their decorations for their um, stables and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, we will come back again in the future and talk about those things as we buy them or once we've bought them all and be like, look, here is the everything all unlocked so all of you Hooray! lovely viewers can we see We will it. be done. Yep. yep. And we will finish out this game because it doesn't actually take that long to finish out. I mean, it is quite a few hours because the running is relatively slow, but it's not like months and months of work by any stretch of the word no and so it's kind we're of only nice. also taking a while at it anyway it's just because we literally have tons of other games that we end up playing well and we have lots of other games that we're trying to play so there's only a few and, games and, we come and back plus, to beautiful watchers there's also that big huge problem of that we both have actually other things that we have to go do in order to maintain and continue Wait, we have pictures. jobs are you kidding I, yes oddly enough we oh. have that job thing that we have to interact with mm, that's very strange i think playing games sounds better we should quit the job i know right and we'll just play games all day well, I mean, speaking of which <laughs> yes. if you are enjoying this video or if you want more content 
content like this, have more questions about Everrun that you would like answered, or want us to demonstrate something that you don't see another Let's Player doing, or that you just think it'd be fun to have us commentate on, you can like this video or follow our channel for more content. We have done a huge amount of app games at this point, um, and we've, you know, they're just, a couple of them are series, but most of them are just brand new, try it out, give you a sense of it, freak out, because it's supposed to be scary for 10 year olds kind of thing. <laughs> Look, I am actually secretly a 10 year old, you don't know this, but I am a 10 year old. So if you want to hear us screaming to a game that is supposed to only be slightly scary to 10 year olds, then you can go watch Sea Shine on our channel and Aww. it will be hilarious. And you can feel way, way braver than us, or you can feel accompanied through a, vi you know, a, like a, a tour of horror with us. Uh huh. Pretty much. I either way, we'll either be supportive with you, or you know, you can laugh at us. You That's know, okay. It could be either way. It could be both. We're having a good time all around. You it know? could be both. You could laugh at us and scream in horror. It could be I great. Could... <laughs> I will cry and scream, and I would just ah. And I, and I will stump things. myself. I will stump myself. <laughs> I am so stumped. Oh my god. Super stumped. Would you just like to branch out from that? I think I should just, you know, slide through it. I don't know. I think it's breaking under your weight right <laughs> now. <laughs> just, you know, it's just, it's sort of crushing when I think about it. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's just the way it barks. <laughs> that's just <laughs> how it, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. That's just how the tree crashes. Oh god. Uh, anyway, I don't like puns. You don't like I love puns. You hate puns. I hate puns. The most hateful puns of all puns. Puns are way puns. too punishing for me. I just cannot freaking handle them. Puns are they're very literarily burdening. Uh, they're, they're vocally burdening. Uh, they are. They make my soul languish. <laughs> Such languishing. Because, uh, you know, the other day... Lugubrious. All right, the lugubrious languishing because jump. <laughs> she wouldn't jump. She's like, You're no, going I, way just, too fast. I just switched lanes. I can't jump <coughs> and switch lanes, except for she yeah, you can. can. If we're going slowly, she totally can. That's she actually can one of those things that I still right think is really funny, where you're like, air. oh, yes, look, you can switch in the middle of the air uh, while you're jumping. And it's wild to watch going, yeah. Yeah. You I, can. Also, there are um, is the ability to sort of clip through things Ooh. when you jump, like I just demonstrated. So if you missed the up ramp, <laughs> you can actually jump into it and go over there for, for largely most of the time. It's just pretty cool. All right, that is a canyon of doom. Doom. So I have noticed also that the doom higher level canyon. your horse, like the, the more expensive your horse was, um, as well stuff as stuff shows up a lot faster for how hard it like is. the uh, yeah the obstacles in the run get a lot worse you get a lot more canyons you get a lot more like blind jumps you get all kinds of weird little mazes of chasms and things and I'm just like mm -hmm. who built these roads is this supposed to be like a trial? well you see the horses with their non-existent thumbs right with their non thumbs these are non thumb roads and so they have weird gaps in them they do that was where I ran out of the ability to pretend I had thumbs and just you know you know left the hole and they made the well, you know, it's sort of easy to dig a gigantic bottomless pit with hooves. With hooves. It's just, it's great. You I'm know, so we just proud. buried our noses in dirt and went for it. I know. We are like dig, ostriches, dig, 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 dig. even though that's actually still an urban myth. We just. Ostriches do not bury their heads. They don't? No, they don't. What about the pictures where they have their heads in the ground? What are they doing? They don't bury their heads. Meaning, where do people get those photographs from? They're not, it doesn't exist. I have seen it. I have never seen it. I have seen it. Alright, I'm gonna have right, an argument with scandal. I'm gonna look. Scandal I'm is looking. going okay. to the internet. I banish you to the internet for Fine. arguing with me. Go to the internet. Because right. usually, usually we have the same myth debunking knowledge, but in this case, I am not at all confident that Scandal is correct. I have not heard that debunking. So we're all going to learn about Why ostriches. Why it's not true! Ostriches don't bury their heads in the sand. They wouldn't be able to breathe, but they do dig holes in the dirt to use as nests for their eggs. I know that. Several times a day, birds put her head in the, their heads in the hole and take turns the eggs. So it really does look like they are doing it, but they don't just do it. Okay. Which is the one that I'm talking about. Don't going... just do it, and they also do... Like, do no, they... not to hide from predators. That's bull. Okay, not to hide from predators, but they do stick their heads down in yes, the Yes, but it's for a specific purpose. You didn't say it was not purposeless. Because the thing is, happening. is, because most people, <laughs> according to their urban myth knowledge, ostriches bury their heads in order oh, to hide Lord. from... Wow, that, that was There was a amazing. lot of flying. Apparently, I, there, there's two horses that can fly if I Woo! jump high enough. Oh, I... Dang it. too fast. Too fast. It could not jump. Sometimes when you get really, really fast, it really does lose the ability to jump because it can't register how quickly it's going. And this horse, she gets pretty fast, like a lot. I'm really glad none of them have a speed boost. 
Right? I'm really glad that you're breaking the legs. I'm really glad that you're running out of legs, Lies. You're not going to show everyone how to get 3k gems, only 1.5k in a I... single run. That's oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's some k. It's one k. It's it's one k. That's one k. It's one k. It's one k. Don't worry about it. It's one k. It's one k. It's not five k, but it is one k. It is one. You're number one k. So enjoy the bad humor, I hope. And feel free to use it on your friends. And if they say it's bad, you can say it came from lies and scandal. You know, you know what? It was lies and scandal who did it. It's their fault. They made the worst humor. And I couldn't help myself. I couldn't do it. Goodbye, sunshine. This is why no one loves me anymore. This is why Jesus stares at me at night and goes, what's wrong with you, child? <laughs> what's wrong with you, ch child? Are you, child? What are you doing with your life? Well, you, you see, see. I'm watching Lies and Scandal mess around with a horse game and try and to desperately finagle their way into more than 1K. Right. <laughs> more than 1K. So that was one of those hidden um, chasms. Right there. If you do not jump that jump, you die. Except for the fact that they're not hidden. Again, they have those pillars there, yes. So, but it's just the okay, hill they're rises marked, up. But they're hidden, meaning you can't see them. No, they're, they're not. They're sense. not. They're not. They're non-obvious. They're not disguised, they're buried <laughs> if you will. They're buried holes. They have buried holes. They just hole. buried it all in right holes. in. Oh, dang oh, it. Oh, right it. as you get a power up, too. So, 1.6k. Right, I don't, don't care. care. We'll be right back. Alrighty, Woo! and we're right. back. So you didn't have to see the ad, but I did the ad because continuing is good. There we are. We'll just swap in midair what we're doing. See, the thing that we said we can't do, or that you shouldn't do, or can't do, or wouldn't do, or shouldn't do. What a waste of a heart. I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get heart out of that heart. It was so It was so like I was prepared to save you, except for the fact that you died beforehand, so now I'm just sort of So I died here. a little bit early, and I could have still been running had I just made it to that heart. Yeah. Side. That would actually be really interesting to know whether or not the game mechanics themselves would freak out if you ran into a heart while you got hit. Right? Like, what, what would be the priority? If you're hitting your last heart, does it have, like, a timing system for you ran into a heart and you were breaking your last leg at the same time? We're just on our last leg here. And I'm doing really well. That's a lot of flying. It's pretty leggy down here. Pretty leggy down here. I just, I still, if, if you see the other Ever Run videos that we've done, there's us, you know, going, what is this game and getting used to it. Then there's, there's us doing a grind and cast where we just make a lot of money and unlock things and talk about stuff. And then there is this one now. So, um. Which is totally the bomb. <laughs> the bomb. This is the best so far. This is the best. The best. We should, we should totally get all the kudos for this one. I'm, oh my gosh, okay, they're so all naked. I miss kudos. I don't know if you remember kudos, but I remember kudos, and they were the best granola bars ever. They were, they're sort of like the Quaker Oat ones now, in that they were like often I chocolate don't covered, know chocolate kudos dipped. at all. Kudos were a granola bar, and I loved them, and I almost died. And I loved not you dying jumped. for kudos. I imagine you could have. No, I can't jump that, that one, distance. That one, no. You're oh, freaking yeah. kidding me. There's a thing down there. That's fascinating. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, and you Look. just can't. Anyway, I will say again that the obstacles do get harder as you get higher level. And they do definitely get more and more bizarre. And they get really weird sometimes. So if you haven't seen a lot of like higher level obstacles in these biomes, then this is also a great tour of what's coming. Oh, well, you know, because we can't shorten environment to environs, we have to say now biomes because environ sounds weird or like some sort of virus or disease. Environs are those things that you can get subject to if you go out in the world. Right. Right, environs. Mm. Yep. Uh, hello, horses. Opinions. In my face. You can also get subject to opinions and social viruses. Social viruses are fascinating because social viruses are literally just behaviors you pick or up from other people. Or concepts or ideas, by, yeah. yeah. Being exposed to them, which is By super being around other people mm -hmm. that are considered negative by you or the people around you, so therefore virus. I mean, you can have positive social no. You can have yes. positive social Yes, so did you see virus. that? That was beautiful. I jumped into the air and I saved myself by switching in midair. Lies did not lie this time. I did not lie. Wait, I wait, went, wait, it wait. can work this way. I'm also like, does. what the heck? These are bones? Those are what some the huge crap ribs. died out right? here? No, I'm dead. Ah, that was painful. It was painful. Thank you for joining me for that pain. I am always here for your pain, so much. Can I? I think I need to jump a bit. There we go. And swish. Nope. Nope. I would have had to jump over that thing. So yeah, this gets... 
rather very obstacly at times and usually the further you get into it or the longer you run the more interesting and pervasive the obstacles become because mm -hmm. they're going trying to, to actually try. either kill you or force you to basically finish the the uh the game itself that particular run yeah we have noticed that they funnel you pretty aggressively into the pedals after a while so if you're getting up to like the 3k 5k area of um embers that you get a lot of obstacles that are sort of forcing you to run into pedals and they're probably trying to help you going, you don't understand what you're supposed to be doing. No, 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 get these pedals. Here you go. But the thing is, is, is if you're just trying to get currency, you don't want those pedals and they can't make they you have them. They cannot register. It's just too fast. It can't jump when it's that fast. It's just very confused. It's fascinating to me how hard it just explodes sometimes. Right? How much it's just like, I can't do Whoa! this. Whoa! All right, so there was a, a 2.3k run. Not too bad. Woo! Hey, and I used one of the brushes that I needed to use. Yay, so we are almost there to the groom it real good. All right, so that was really what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to buy the horses and show you a way to earn some currency. We're also going to buy some decorations for this booger and show you what I'm talking about. So, um just because we have the cash for it and there's no more horses to buy. Okay, so here's our decoration. So this is the one I thought was interesting. Represent orchids, husband and son. Represents orchid. As for the smooth blue sea thread. So this is where they imply that Except for the fact that doesn't make sense. This blue pregnant. gems represent orchid's husband and son, right? What small blue seedling? I don't Or is we talking about the one down here at the bottom, this one right, here. Right, see that's them. Or and is this, this one because this is a seed? Yeah, so this is the seedling down at the bottom in the base, I believe. And then ah. this is her, the purple one, and this is her husband, and that's her son, because her son's smaller than her husband. Now, who is her husband? That would, that be, would be fascinating. I'm like, I want to know the lore of this, excuse me. I mean, the casually dream catcher sort of both. looking thing. Yeah, I'm medium size. There we go, we'll just leave that there. Can we turn it a little bit without hanging completely straight? Uh oh. Alright, so there's that one. Let's let's get let's do this one. Hold the on. Aroma resonates the the ever -blue tree. Tree. Soothing the body, mind, and soul of each garden. So and I wonder if these any of these decorations actually make a difference in how happy or in content your horse feels. Like do they get do they stay content more or longer if you have more decorations? Like we can put a huge curtain in front of this thing. Do 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 here we are. This is very close up decoration. Good deal. We're gonna get this banner. Like every unicorn of royal descent, she was draped in a red silk banner on the day she was born. I hope they washed her first. All right. Right. Oh, I wonder if that one moves. It does move, but they have a suggested location. We suggest you put it here because our design is better than your design. Okay, she's got Clearly. all from kinds of materials. Oh, it can often be found meditating. Med Realigning her spirit after a long trek. All right, so she meditates and she leads and she's mom of the group. Yeah, that looks too big. Makes her look super tiny. So that that's more like a you can lay on this rug kind of rug. That looks awful, sticking off the back of everything. We'll put it over here. That would be fine. All right, pillows. Let's get all the pillows. With orchid petals, making them soft as a cloud. Wow, pillows of grace. Yeah. You really don't want to have a character by the name of Grace. And then have you? the pillows of Grace. Yes, we're very proud. Whoops, wrong one. Can we pick up that one behind? All right, here we go. We're going to make bigger pillows because she's a really, she's a horse. Why would you have teeny tiny pillows for a horse? Like, honestly. So her room's going to be the most relaxing room in all the place, but nobody can visit her room. So, you know what? Doom on them, you know? Doom! Too bad. Doom! Doom! bad for them you know they just don't get to come to the most relaxing place here even though you know the smelly charms make her you know make everyone feel better just from her place all right all right we are almost there so let's get the rest of the stuff her room's gonna be crowded yeah well they're all a little big <laughs> absolute tranquility, tranquility. <laughs> absolute they recommend it in the pillows i love it in the, the pillows. pillows wow so we're not gonna put it in the pillows we're gonna have to get back here oh it wants to go in front of the branch that branch is in an awkward location for making this fountain work it really is that's okay we'll just we'll just do it that way we'll make it a little bit bigger and it doesn't go behind the dream catcher thingy will it all right so we'll make it a little bit smaller again we'll move this guy out of here Oh, wow. The edges of it are a lot bigger than it looks, honestly. So we're just going to put that wow. back here. 
and it will be a great and glorious fountain. You're going to stick it right on top of the rug. So if I'm going to move it back above the rug, see, behind the rug. There we are. Okay. Okay, and then we'll just get this, you know, sort of semi-dream catcher back over here again. And now it goes in front of the other thing. So it's just whichever you touch last, I think, is the one that's in front. Yep, that's how it works. All right, cool. This is ridiculous. This is pretty ridiculous. Like, her room's getting crowded. Don't buy. Unite you know, five regions of Everbloom? There's five regions? They've never regions? talked about that at all. Okay, so the lore in this game frustrates me so much because they don't tell you about any of these things. Like, who is her husband? Where are the other horses? Back to the original guardians, because they occasionally refer back to the original guardians. And I'm like, so these aren't the original guardians, so who are the original guardians? Who are the guardians of original originals? Right? Negative ions into the atmosphere. <laughs> That's very science. Oh my gosh. Negative ions. Actually, negative ions don't solve everything! They don't. They're not necessarily even as good as, like, you know, ozone. This can right. be really huge. Okay, we're gonna move this one more time. Try again. This really tiny, cute little thing. You know, more like a fountain or something. More like a cute little lamplight? Yeah, more like a, you know, let's read by this light while we're sitting on our decadent pillows of doom. I am gonna make this a little bit smaller and not quite so ridiculous. All right, and we'll just hang it up here, and hopefully we can still leave because it probably you can. won't let us. No, it will. It has gone over that every single ah, time. Ah, there we go. There we go. So there is the room, all completely decorated Woo! with all of everything. You can move and resize and tilt Whoops, everything. Whoops! Oh, and you can put things away. So there's that, and it puts them back. It moves them back to where it wants them. It goes, no, 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 you need to have it over here. So, yeah, well, right. I'm not going to buy all of her armor because I don't actually care about these other ones. Though some of it does look like it would be sort of cute, you know? But they do show her that picture. All right, so now back we go. Woo! So, yeah, that right. that is how that works. You just get lots and lots of money and you buy everything. We're going to go look at the knot horse for a second because I want to laugh at this booger. But also because I am curious about the lore of his items. So we're going to buy the items here, Or you too. could just look at them. Or you just look at them. All right, listen, no. these are so pretentious. These are amazing. Mint often leaps through the flames to try and impress the female guardians and to get a rise out of thorn. I love the dual meaning of getting a rise out of thorn. Don't you? No, I'm just like, hmm. I wonder what they're thinking. Like, it, this is more impressive to jump over. So, like, if it's that big, that's way more impressive to jump over than, you know, hey, he's going to jump over this. You know, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yes, this beautiful cat. We're all so impressed you jumped over this. Do, do, do. A good job. I'm, I'm very so proud. proud. So, we're going to make him more impressive because he's so eager to impress and, and, and make and him get really a rise out of Thor. Yeah, because he totally wants a rise out of thorn Mint is highly skilled at surviving in the wild he, excels he murders other animals any, weather condition. any Can... weather condition leathers you know for the blisteringliest of hot deserts <laughs> like you know you got to have all your leathers on it is the tiniest <laughs> big, cute <laughs> Tiny, beautiful leathers. Yep, this is adorable. Look, you know, honestly, these artesian leathers. That pattern would be harder to make it with that small. Just oh, so yeah. you know. Yes. All right. Keep it that small. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he's got no thumbs. None of them have thumbs. How is he crafting this leather with his teeth? With his horns. With his horns. Clearly, he it with his horns. And then you will suddenly be able to wear this crap. Yep. Without missing a beat. See, and we don't know where this one came from. Like, the other one is, you know, from their father. But what's the point of this frostbite grandfather, shield? Grandfather. grandfather orchid's, orchid's grandfather, shield right. came from grandpa. So what about this one? Like, where did this come from? This giant shield that I'm going to just put in the background and run into currency again? All right, we'll just stick it back. It doesn't look like it's far enough. Wow, that was shiny. Far enough away if I do that. Like, it's over a tree. Yeah, sure, we'll just leave it there. All right. Flutes, wind chime. To, Ooh. to attract different forest creatures, Mint's tribe would use these to help hunt for survival. And, uh, and all so this sounds like these are basically these are predators. carnivores. All these horses are carnivores. No, this horse is this not well, horse. to help the tribe hunt. This is not his tribe though. There's specifically this so is... he comes from a different tribe. Uh huh. Because you know what I find strange is that they're all hung up now like a wind chime kind of thing. But they're specifically like hunting flutes. So they're just stored this way or they're put out of commission this way. And I'm like, if they're going to be big enough to actually fit in his mouth, they need to be, you know, around this size. Like, there's not a lot of sizes you can choose. I don't know. To actually be useful to a horse face. You're asking for sense. 
In this game? You know what? Children's games can make sense, okay? They just can. Step I... up your game. Fine. This is like the Ikea joke in Game of Thrones. Have okay. you seen that? No. So, okay, so it was revealed for the Game of Thrones show, for those of you who don't know, um, that they have these fur jackets on, these beautiful fur throws that they're wearing, these the wonderful cloaks, their fur. They revealed that they were Ikea fur rugs. That's amazing. That aren't even fur. That they're they just cut holes just into. And so Ikea put out a joke instruction pamphlet for how to turn How to these turn their rugs into, into the, the clothes. Yeah, that's brilliant. It was super funny. That's really great. I mean, it was like beautiful job. Costumers, good job. I have to say that's great for the wardrobe department. They did really good. Alright, Glyph McGlyph Glyph. Is is going back here, doink? Yeah, but he's he's got like very man cave kind of like really? native like <clears throat> indigenous man cave going on. Every night before bed, he sounds steady and reliable. Honestly, I wonder if they all have a front decoration like they this. They probably like an, do. Like an intended let's create depth kind of decoration. Because he basically sounds he's a jerk. A little bit like a jerk. He sounds like he's in, uncomfortable with his masculinity and is trying to impress everybody. And he's sort you want, of a don't jerk. don't want to shit, set that thing on fire. And he's sort of a jerk. Why are you a butthead? Because of your horns and you like to butt people the with head. your head. Uh -huh. well, I mean, what is that characteristic though anyway? About basically, you have this male character, and particularly in very simple games or games, they go, "Well, this has to be for kids." They always make basically extremely. Bratty so boys and extremely like and snobby very, girls. Yeah, and also some like you know very strong traditional masculine things too. Like here is your oh you took my shield away. I can't unclick any more of these otherwise they'll go to the wrong place. So they will undecorate your cavern for you if you suddenly just accidentally put something in the wrong place. Oh, well, I mean they like, were all here. Something. But I unclicked it and then it put it back where it wants it to go, not where I want, want it, it to, to go. go. Yes. So. Yeah, so if you are decorating your thing meticulously, try to be careful not to hit the buttons. Otherwise, it'll go, yeah, your decoration's not as good as, you know, mine. Ours, so, you so know. So our ideas It would be better. very interesting sometimes just to buy through a bunch of these and see where they actually want them to go. We could just pick a random horse. All right, so and... we're, we're going to do that with the next horse real quick. And we're just going to buy out their cavern. And uh, it's, it's horse. Decorate everything. It's, decorate, it's Barbie it's, horse. It is Barbie dream horse house. Dream house horse? Dream house one. horse. So let's let's... Let's do Violet Does with Violet her starry legs. I don't even remember. Violet doesn't. We haven't even run with Violet at all. Ever. Oh yeah. We've never even run. With, no, we have run with her once. She's dirty. Oh, I guess we have. Did I run with her? I have no memory of running with this horse. Apparently, I'm I'm failing at memorying things, but we will we will clean her up, because yeah, she's also very hungry. So there's something going on with her. We've definitely used her then. All right, she has been used. All right, nah, so nah, we're nah. gonna buy not armor. We're gonna buy decorations. All right, so here we go. So let's start oh, with Oh, we've seen her stuff. We'll yeah. learn a little bit about her. Oh, right, she has all of these amethyst things. Yeah, she's fond of and purple. And we're just gonna let everything sit right where they put it and see what happens. The It'll be hilarious. <laughs> it looks fabulous as a centerpiece. So she's got a lot of symbolism going along with her. She's very. Which is funny yeah, because into other things she's used, you know, she's into their functional bits. So I guess in the first one it didn't actually say that she was into it, it just said that that's what the banner does. Oh, they do have specific places for all of them. Yep, this is the RD one. The, oh, right, the, I we remember now. We did run into her. Oh no. We've totally forgotten. I just forgot about her. She was not a very memorable horse. So this one bothers me too because she doesn't do leather working. She does stained glass, and stained glass requires soldering tools and saws. And how is she doing this with her, her metal face again? She talks to crimson, and crimson melts metal for her. Except right. who does then the mining? And who does the shaping? Right. All right. So there's her tiny little fountain. A decorative chest containing crystals and diamonds. Everyone benefit from bling. 
Yeah, so apparently we have kidding? this psychically powerful, rejuvenated, capable horse that doesn't actually care about Who's powers super at all. shy and awkward. Uh, and, and really into the color purple. Uh, yeah, and and this just is, this is very this is very much like a five year old's design for a character. This, where this very is very shallow interest in the color purple it doesn't matter. Except she's really powerful. artistic and really intelligent Absolutely. and really all these other things. Except that these sound really trite. <laughs> okay. Can't beat that color. She's really <sighs> obsessed with this color. So the crystal campfire. So the shield charges the campfire and the campfire keeps her warm. This is wild. So yeah, there it is the way they intend it to look. And then you can, of course, tilt and resize and change things. We're going to just go ahead and go for broke and do one more because we have so many embers because I've had such successful runs with Orchid that I was like, yeah, this we'll is, just this is do fine. this. This is fine. So let's see what Thorn's like. Let's find another man do you want to do his, 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 you want to do his auto rather than do it yourself? Yeah, we'll do his auto so we can just get through this without taking forever. But since we just bought him, we have never run with this boy. It is, it is never run. We never, never run. Never with run and never run. But now that we have all the horses, we can actually finish oh, the game. No. See, I want see, to they hear do. about all of their dang tribes. They're like, they all came from different tribes. Oh no! All right, war horses. He's he's uh he's either Germanic or Roman. I bet this one goes in the front. I bet you too. Oh, so really? they warned them of the the storm, and then what? You guys all ran away and abandoned your tree, even though you're all super powerful. Follow the yellow brick road. Who returned? Follow the yellow brick road. Fun this is fun. wild. See, they have so much story. Those look like tentacles. They really they look, look like, like tentacles. tentacles. This is our horse Cthulhu monument. Woo! Because his so mom couldn't be a badass warrior at all either. It was so I'm also him. like, there's this experience of going... Ooh, he has deep, deep dark secrets. secrets. They're to do with tentacles. They are te so thorny many tentacle secrets. That that's is what this is about. Oh, I was no, like, that's more. it? There's one He's more. so lame. So he's about war. I'm thinking he's about war. I, mean, I think there's a war theme going on Are here. you sure? I'm not, I'm not a sure. A little bit like a war theme going on. So yeah, uh, we've got sure? all of those things. He looks very proud of himself. On the other hand, I'm like, all these different tribes. So we've united five tribes. So are there other people? Are there some horses here from the same tribes as each other? Like... Who they are these tribes five anyway? Nations, was it? He said five tribes. Like everything's very tribal Tribe. here. Okay. There's much tribal. Oh, we're gonna do this, sucker. We're gonna do the David Bowie horse. Let's see if they have David Bowie stuff too. No, oh. not really. A mysterious banner of unknown origin, constructed from. So this is our materials. our alien horse, confirmed alien horse, otherworldly materials. Yep, this horse came from somewhere else, not here. Oh, him! There we go. Right. He can talk he to the stars. To the star. He talks to the stars. To wow. It, to be a it has the lightning bolt. It is the one side. Of, this yeah, is okay. This is, totally... this is very David Bowie because that's the lightning bolt across one side of the face, basically. They're like, we won't be too stealing of it, but it's there. Yeah. What? So he's actually immaterial. He's a project. He is a he is a Steven he's Universe character. He's a crystal gem. He's a crystal gem. Take, and he has to take special oh potions God. to maintain his projection. That's hilarious. Elixir. It also has so a face. It has a grumpy face. It does Do you see the grumpy little grumpy face? <laughs> With tentacles on the top. <laughs> With the, the tentacle tree. So their tree is also a Cthulhu tree, right? Oh, so he has a family. Is he single? Is or he is single? Is he a child? Family? Is he, was he married? Like, what kind of family are we talking to here? Is it siblings? Did he have his own herd? So he uses this orb to watch over his family in one realm while serving alongside the Guardians. So how did he get connected to the Guardians? At we all. don't know. Nobody knows. None of us know. He doesn't even know. 
I mean, guidance I'm giggle. in times of jeopardy. I hope he sought out guidance when the storm was coming to destroy his tree. Except Look at that this floating orb thing. This is amazing. He's an alien. He is an alien. So this is our alien horse. He's lovely. He also likes apples. This is very charming. Wow. All right. Well, we can't afford any more all the way bought out. So that's, you know, four, three or four stables all the way uh, bought out. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah. that That's a way to earn currency. If you have any questions, you know, I could answer or help you with as far as strategy. I know oh, I didn't you, look like you I was amazing specifically. at playing. I know, it's or brilliant. that Scandal could help you with as right. well. Right. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, it's okay. You wanted... I'll fall asleep over here. I'm not super involved <laughs> anyway. Or if you wanted to comment on this video or... Or, you know, if you liked this content or had suggestions for other things we could do, either tutorials or things about it, that, that would be great. If you also enjoyed this content, liking this video or following our channel will help you get regular updates and let you know what us, else we are doing. Woo! All right, so, Scandal, thank you for, um, you know, humoring me. Ah, oh, you're so freaking welcome, Lies. I'm very sorry that I'm not nearly as educated as you are in your oh. mighty ways of... Of, ever run <laughs> of ever run and for for coming along with me and also thank you viewers for being here we appreciate your presence and i, I am lies and i am scandal and you all have a great day bye, bye.